Good morning, guys. It's me again, Nature. Yes, it's in the morning time. It is 8.30, and I put some olive oil in the pan. I'm going to heat that up, and I'm going to make me a omelet here. I'm going to make me a mushroom omelet. I'm going to saute some zucchini and some tomato on top. I'm going to have that for breakfast. And I'm also going to make me a health drink. This drink that I had in uh, Miami was so good, my friend ordered it. I didn't order it. I ordered something different, but I should have ordered that. And it's made with um, ginger, beets, apples, and I believe it could have had some, I don't know if it had celery in it. I'm not going to put celery in it. And lemon, okay? That's um, one of the drinks. I think I'm going to save the celery because that brings a whole different flavor to it. So I'm not going to use the celery. I saved that for my salad tonight. I'm eating so good right now because I went on vacation and I had so much restaurant and junk food that I feel guilty. So now I'm trying to make up. I'm trying to uh, get my body to be happy again because my body is sad because I ate all that junk. So while this is getting hot, I wash off these tomatoes to uh, put it with the zucchini. I have yellow and green here. So let's wash these tomatoes off. We'll use a little soap here because that COVID is out and I need to make sure that my fruits are clean, 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 clean. All right, these are the mushrooms. I'll put that on the side. I put my knife holder away. So these will get sliced like this. Can you see it? I'm slicing these little uh, tomatoes here. I don't know. Uh, I didn't look at the pack, so I don't know what type of tomatoes these are, but they're a little bigger than the cherry tomatoes. Uh-oh. This knife getting dull on me? Oh yeah, it's getting dull on me. So I'll slice these up and I'll put these um, in the pan also because I like hot tomatoes on top of my zucchini. Yeah, so it's sliced up like this. You see? All right, so that pan is hot, I believe. Let's turn it up to number five. It doesn't look like as hot as I want it. Um, you guys could eat very healthy and only have uh, some sea salt and pepper on yours. I'm going to have a little of, uh, I know this is bad, I'm going to put on here. But I love this so much. You guys could substitute it for salt and pepper. But I'm going to put a little of this on it. I love this stuff. So I'm going to put a little of this on there for color. A little bit on my tomatoes. I'm not using the whole pack. Put that back in there in the box. And I'm going to add some pepper. Okay. And I, uh, I do have an onion in there. Should I use fresh onion? Yeah, I guess I'll use some fresh onion. Because I could use the onion flakes, too. Some people use the onion flakes. But I think I'll use a little red onion here. I got some red onion. So, you slice a little of that red onion in there. Got to cut off the top part. I never like to use my onion straight from the top once I have it in the bag. I always cut that outside part off. Yeah, I always do. And some of the outside as well. I peel that off. Sorry I walked away from the camera, guys. But I'm just peeling this outside of the onion off. Here. And then I'm gonna slice it down like this. Let me hold it in my hand. You guys don't be, uh, you gotta be careful when you're doing this because this knife is sharp. I use it all the time. I'm used to this knife. It still doesn't mean I can't get cut. So I got to be careful. So I'm just going to cut half of it. I didn't cut it all the way across the top. Just halfway. 
because I don't want too much onion in it and steal the flavor away. So that's about it. I don't know, it's like a tablespoon. Mm. I like them cut up in small pieces. As a matter of fact, let me just go all the way to the half, the other half too, because that didn't look like enough. All right. I'll sit it in the plate this time since I'm since I'm going all the way. So that's about. I don't know, it looks like two tablespoons maybe of onion. Yeah. Making this onion taste, I mean making this omelet taste delicious. Okay guys, so as you can see here, I have the onion, sorry about this camera, the onion, the zucchini and tomato, all right? So what we're going to do is close this cabinet first. So you can see. The pan is hot already, so we'll do the zucchini first. You know what? We'll do the onion with it because we want that sauteing in there. So let's put the onion in. Yeah, that's nice and hot. I'll turn it to three now because I don't want it to burn. I'll put that onion on one side, zucchini on the other. This way that onion is cooking and all the flavors are coming out of it. It's smelling delicious already. And not use a knife on my nice pan. Use a rubber, a, a um, silicone spatula. <laughs> my little ice cream cone spatula. <laughs> and I'll be safe and put this cover on this knife while I'm not using it. safe so let me spin this around so you can not me <laughs> so I have some adobo and pepper on here some of it has color in it some doesn't that's okay the flavor will be in it all so I'm gonna saute that for a little while flip those over so that they could uh be browned on both sides. The yellow gets done before the um, green. I don't know why, but it does. So we'll saute that in there. Then we'll put the onions on top of it because we want that flavor to go into it. Okay. And the tomatoes, the tomatoes will be last. Okay. Now I'm going to put some of these onions on top of there. Sauteed onions on top. Saute with olive oil. <laughs> yeah, this is the nice flavor here. And I should be putting garlic on here, but my garlic, I, I think I had it too long because it has little things growing in the middle, green color, and that's not supposed to be there. So I will just put the tomato on this side. Saute that in here. And I have it on low. You guys could cook your zucchini as well as you like it. Some people like it with some firm uh, texture to it. Some people like it soft. But anyway, I'm going to saute that on number two. I'm going to simmer that on two. Okay, while I prepare my mushroom omelet. Okay, guys. So I got the mushroom out here. I'm using some uh, organic baby Bella mushroom. I sliced them up here. I'm going to slice them up nice and small. I believe that's enough mushroom but you know what i already have this one out so i'm gonna just go ahead and cut it up so i took out three big mushrooms and i have the oil uh olive oil in the pan over there heating up so that it's nice and hot when i pour the egg in there and again i think this is too many mushrooms <laughs> i think i made to cut up too many mushrooms because when i'm at the um all-inclusive hotels they have these things cut up in little dices, little small squares. Look at me, look at this, I got too many. This is enough to make like three omelets. <laughs> so I'm only gonna sort, you know what? I'm gonna saute most of them, but I'm only gonna use a few for the omelet. I'm not gonna use them all for the omelet, cause that's too many. My omelet will be soggy. 
because these uh, mushrooms have lots of moisture. So I'll have some for the omelet and I'll have some that I'll probably uh, pour over a salad later today because later today I'll make a salad. All right, guys, that oil should be hot by now. I had it heating up on four. Let's turn it to six. That back eye should be on simmer with my other stuff there. So here you go. Yep, I can hear it. That was hot enough. All right. Put these mushrooms away. Let that saute. I have this egg here. I'll put a little sea salt in it. Since I have lots of flavor in my zucchini, I don't need to have lots of flavor in the egg because I'm going to pour that on top. Okay, guys, so I just add some salt and some pepper. That's it. Oh, and I should add some minced onion into there with the um, mushroom because I did want to put that minced onion inside the zucchini, but I didn't get a chance. So right now, let's go there. So that's some minced onion in there. I know I should have had some fresh onion, lazy. Oh, I did put onion in there. Oh, I forgot I already had onion in there. I thought I didn't do it. Oh, well, I guess this omelet will have a little bit more flavor than I thought. <laughs> Okay, so we're going to saute these mushrooms here. Leave these in here for a few. All right. Okay, guys, I'm so I sauteed the mushroom there. And now, you guys see it? Let's see. Okay, so the mushroom and the um the little pieces of onion flakes are ready. Now I'm going to pour in the egg. I beat two eggs in here with some salt and pepper. I use some sea salt. Why do I use sea salt? Because I just used that adobo and I don't want to have everything in here that's bad for me. I have to have some good stuff in here. This is supposed to be a healthy meal, right guys? And I clean as I work, as you already know. <laughs> so I'm going to beat that there. That is on number four, but I'm going to turn it on three because I don't want my omelet to be too crispy, even though I love my omelets dark brown. Okay, so I'm throwing things around at the camera. Sorry about that, guy. It's my vitamins. Okay, let this omelet cook. All right, this is going to be so good with this onion, tomato, and zucchini on top. It's going to be delish. I don't know if you guys ever made that before, but I made that a lot. I like omelets with uh, zucchini, and I like my tomatoes with my zucchini. And uh, we're going to pour that on top in just a few. Right now, you know what I think I should do? Which a lot of people don't know. You should cover this egg and the top of it cooks even quicker. And then you can flip it over. And then you don't have to leave it as long because the heat is going to cook the top of it. Okay, guys. So I know I don't need any bread, so I won't have any. And I will turn this front eye on simmer. So when I put this on top, it'll be nice and hot. I'll be right back. Okay, guys, that zucchini omelet is ready. I mean, the mushroom omelet is ready. See how nice? And then I had this heating up. Make sure you don't forget to turn those eyes off, guys. I had this heating up, so I'll put my zucchini on top with my onion, my sauteed onions. Oh my goodness, I can taste this already. My mouth is watering already. My mouth is watering already, like Wendy Williams. <laughs> all right, so that's all there. And then you're gonna have your color and your delicious moisture flavor from your tomato.
Okay, guys. Turn this aisle off. And then if you want, you can have some rye toast on the side. Okay, guys, so I toasted me a slice of rye bread. Got to put my little vegan butter on it, like always. You know I like my earth balance. Uh, so I'll put some of that on here. And then I'll put some natural strawberry smuckers on here. Does it say organic? No, it says natural. Okay, so that's good enough. Nature, natural, close enough. <laughs> All right, and that's what I'm going to have for my little, uh, whatever you want to call it, so I can have all of my, um, I don't know if I, if I met all my daily nutrition uh, needs here, but um, I don't have any meat on this plate, and that's because I had sausage, and I had two turkey wings last night, and I'm good. I don't need any meat this morning. So, this is what I'm having. So, this is what we have here. We have our omelet with our zucchini, tomato, and we have our rye toast here. So, let's just try it and see what it's tasting like this morning. I'm doing this with one hand so I can hold the phone with the other hand. So let's try it. Get a little of everything on the fork. The zucchini and the tomato. Now let's see how this tastes. Mm -mm -mm. This is good. And a little toast to go with that. A little rye toast. Yummy. I'm gonna have some olive juice. And after that, I'm gonna finish this bottle of water. And I always have to have two or three liquids. My third liquid is gonna be that uh, drink that I told you I was gonna make with the ginger and everything. So I'll record that after I finish eating my delicious breakfast. Thank you guys for joining me. Give me a thumbs up. Uh, hit the notification bell so you'll be alerted next time I shoot a video. And I thank you guys for watching. And always don't forget to pray. Bye.